Hey, I'm Sheila. Welcome to my channel. And today, I just want to come in with a small chat and relax video. I know I was only able to do one video pretty much, I think, earlier this week. i just been so busy doing things. So I thought I would go ahead and make time for this video for you all um, that enjoy the chat and relax video and just tell you what's been going on so far right now. I am so happy and <clears throat> I mean I have gotten a lot of great um, feedback and things and um, just a lot of warm um, feelings going on right now. I don't want to get into details but it's just lovely to feel so to feel loved and to feel so warm and cozy inside instead of feeling upset and just um, angry and just you know how it is sometimes but um, I just been getting a lot of great feedback and I'm very thankful and uh, to all and um, just look forward to more <laughs> I want more great feedback <laughs> okay but um, also um, I noticed that for the um, this week um, I noticed you guys you know I have to say something about my health I always like to just keep you updated anyone that likes to watch this video um, I noticed that I went out and I had to do a little shopping and stuff and um, I noticed that I am stepping and walking a little bit quicker and getting around just a little bit better okay I know you're probably saying if you haven't watched this video before then you won't know what I'm talking about but for the ones that have been watching this video you know exactly what I'm talking about I've been having some uh, swelling problems in my legs um, and also uh, it's related to my like reflux problems in my legs so um, so it's just like water retention and everything but you guys I am so thankful to God I mean, I realized that I was walking a little bit faster. I was moving around a little bit quicker. I've been noticing this. So I know now that the swelling is not, I can look at my legs and tell that I'm not swelling up as much as I used to be. Um, and I, I couldn't believe myself. I was moving around so fast and I had to catch myself because I have been walking slow and just getting around kind of slow in the past because of the swelling cuz you know when you swell up when you if you ever had water retention problems you know how you know how it is you feel like extremely heavy and just uh you feel way bigger than what you really are so it's like you're out of breath a lot of times and you just feel like you know just laying down or just sitting down and not move around because you just feel so huge and plus it can affect your walking ability to a certain certain degree because you feel so heavy the water is in there and it's just like you can't walk as good as you normally would but anyways you guys I have been very happy and just so thankful to God I mean I see that I see the change and um, I was so 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 happy inside because I've been you know just praying and asking God to help me with this situation um, I'm just glad that there's nothing really serious as far as uh, surgery or anything like that but it's just water retention can be awful because it's like I gain weight, I lose weight. That's what's been going on. I go up, down, up, down with my weight. And it can be very frustrating as far as clothing, wearing clothing and 
just getting around. You know, uh, for two or three days, you can be like five pounds um, larger. And then after five days, after, you know, the water and everything, just doing what I have to do to try to keep that water um, retention out, um, you know what I mean, like out of the my system, then I lose that five pounds or a little bit more. And it's just, you know, back and forth, back and forth. But... I know that there is a difference. I can see it. I saw it. I had an appointment. Um, I have lost some weight. And um, I can move around a little bit faster. I'm getting back to my pace that I used to be. Um, so I'm very thankful to God for that. Um, and so i just been having like as far as the week that's what's been going on mainly i really wasn't too busy i didn't have a lot of appointments i thought i was but a lot of appointments got postponed so um i do have a few appointments i think two appointments for next week um so i'll probably have you know at least two videos for this channel um i'll try to make time for two videos um i want like i said about that palette the urban decay naked two or basics palette um hopefully i'll be able to get to uh the store i might be able to get to it this weekend if not it'll be next weekend Cause I really want to do that comparison video because I've been wanting the Urban Decay Naked Basics uh, palette to for not for a while, but just like in the last couple of months, I've been wanting it. I know it's kind of cool tone, but I I've been wanting it, so it's not like I want to purchase this just to make that video. I've been wanting that palette anyway, so. I want to still do that video, and I haven't forgot, okay, you guys? I haven't forgot about that video. I'm going to do that video. I just got to get to the place because here in my area, we don't have, like, Sephora and Ulta and places like that here. So I have to travel to get to a store. I know I could order it online, but I prefer to go to the store because I want to look around myself at a few products that I have seen online i want to see it in person because um i want to purchase a foundation yes a high-end foundation maybe not too high but you know what i'm saying higher than drugstore i want to get a foundation and i want to look around and when it comes down to shade the color shade and everything sometimes it's hard for me to pick a shade because i can get like my shades is pretty much you know i'm i'm like you know warm tone but then again i can be cool tone a little bit i mean it's just kind of hard for me to match my foundation with my skin um i'm getting better now and i have gotten better i mean yeah my foundation is matching but I want a liquid foundation, a good one. I want an HD foundation because I like the W7 HD foundation. So I want something like that. And I'm thinking about the, um, what is it called? The Makeup Forever HD, Ultra HD foundation. I'm curious about that one. I think I might look for a shade in that particular foundation. Not sure. I just need to look around, but I think I want to try that one. Um, so, yeah, as soon as I get to the store and get there, I will get that palette and I will be able to make that video, okay? Um outside of that you guys that's pretty much it as far as this chat and relax video but i want to show you this product um anytime i get a product sometimes and i feel like it's a good product i will let you all know sometimes if i think of it and i did today because i um have been using this product y'all for about 
three days. I got samples first from Walgreens. And I used it one time and I instantly loved it. Um, I did a blog on the Jergens hand lotion, moisturizing hand lotion. And it gives like this luminous, light luminous glow to the skin. And this was another Jergens product and I know that it's a good product. But what this one does for the body is that you take a shower and in the shower you apply this onto your skin while you are wet, okay? And what it does, it, it absorbs into the skin. So by the time you get out of the shower, in that quick of time, it's absorbed in the skin and you can dry off like kind of pat dry and you are moisturized for the day like it doesn't feel oily to me and but my skin feels moisturized so i love this and what i love the most is that this one particular there's three different kinds i love the coconut oil this is the refreshing coconut oil. I love it. The smell. Ooh, I love coconut. Ooh, the smell of it is awesome. I love this one better than the, there's one called, uh, an, all of them are oils, I think. But one t smells a little bit too florally to me. And the other one, I had a sample for all of them. I can't remember the name of the other two. I didn't like them, but I do like the coconut oil. And you guys, this is beautiful on the skin. It moisturizes the skin, and it's not oily. And you apply this right after you take a shower or a bath, and you just apply this to your skin, and it absorbs into the skin. It is awesome i love it and i just been using it today will make the fourth day i use this product and i love it and it just smells so oh it smells so good you don't even need perfume like after you apply these like the smell is a little bit it's not strong but it's enough that you don't even need perfume okay just to say and um so i put this on and i love the smell of coconut and it smells lovely so yeah you guys i just want to mention this product in case some of you may not know about this product this is a good product okay i mean i know everybody's different but in my opinion this is a great product it's a great moisturizer it doesn't make the skin oily it absorbs into the skin which i love and it's quicker like it says you get ready in half the time really you do because once you put this on, you don't need to do all that extra step with lotion and all that. So, it's quicker. And I love it, okay? So, I just wanted to mention that to you all. So, in case some of you may not know about that product. If if you like your skin to be moisturized and hydrated. And, I, and especially if you got dry skin like I do. You might want to try that product. Maybe you might like it, okay? I don't know. I know we're all different. I love it personally, okay? My opinion, I think it's a great product. But I just wanted to mention that product to anyone that may have dry skin like I do or just love their skin to be moisturized like I do. This is a great product and you'll be moisturized without being very oily, okay? So this is a great product. This one that I have is the Refreshing Coconut Oil, okay? Wonderful product. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you all go. All have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening. And you are beautiful and stay beautiful, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot that was something else I have to say. Um, soon I will be preparing to um, move from up here on the second floor to the ground level, okay? Um, so I finally think I have one as far as another apartment. Um, it's still here in the same area. It would just be downstairs. I don't want to be up here no more. I've been up here for six years. Um, yeah. The situation with my legs, 
I do not need to be climbing or not climbing, but I don't need to be, you know, walking up so many steps, you know. It's good exercise, but when you have fluid retention, it's difficult. Trust me, it's very, very difficult. But anyways, I will be moving downstairs very soon. It could be like soon soon okay i will let you all know but just in case i um i'm gonna try to come back in with a video like i said for next week another video or whatnot um but i just want you all to know that when i get ready to do that or prepare to to move from up here to a ground level apartment there may be some time where i may not be able to make video okay um i might can come in maybe one time if i can because <laughs> moving we all know is a hassle okay no one likes to move however i have to move okay and i don't know you know how everything's gonna be so i might be able to you know come in and do a chat and relax video or something like that but if i don't come in with the video you guys okay if i don't make a video just know you know that i am moving okay i am in the process of moving okay so i just want you all to know if I do not get to make a video or anything, you will know, okay? For any of you that care, okay? all right? Okay, so I'm going to let you all go. So, bye-bye. Stay beautiful. Bye.